Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Ooh, just love stacking blocks and making fun shapes and buildings and towers. You never know, I one day I could be a mighty architect or a designer. Just look at how many fun designs can be made with just a few blocks. Blocks are also a great way to practice measuring volume. Now let's take a look at this shape, for example. If this single block is one cubic centimeter, well then what's the volume of the shape? To find the volume, we can count the number of blocks or cubic centimeters that are there. Now let's see. Here we've got a total of six blocks, and that means that the total volume is six cubic centimeters. Great. I wonder what our friends are doing right now. I wonder if they're building towers too. Uh, let's go see. And we can also practice our volume measurements while we play. Oh, look, Eric's building a tower. This is the base that he's built so far. How many more layers will he need if he wants the tower to have a volume of 48 cubic inches? All right, here we go. Now, Eric has three layers that each have six blocks in them. This means that he currently has a volume of 18 cubic inches. Now we can first find out how many more blocks Eric needs by subtracting. 48 minus 18 is 30. So he needs to use 30 more blocks. Oh, but the question didn't ask how many blocks were needed, but how many more layers will be needed on the tower. Okay, interesting. Now each layer of the tower is six blocks. So how many groups of six are in 30? Five. Eric will need to make five more layers if he wants a total volume of 48 cubic inches. Keep on building, Eric. You're almost there. Now while he finishes his tower, let's take a glance at what Mia and Jenny are up to. Whoa. Mia and Jenny have built two really cool structures. Oh. And they're going to knock them down and combine their blocks. <gasps> What if they built a tower with all those blocks? What would be the combined volume of the new tower? Let's start with Mia's blocks. When counting to find the volume of shapes that are not rectangles, it may be helpful to start in the back and work towards the front. Uh, let's say we're going to start in the back of the bottom layer. The back bottom row has four blocks, and the row in front of that has three. Now the next has two, and the front has one block. So the first layer has 10 blocks, and the next layer has three blocks, and the top layer has only one block. So this means that there are a total of 14 blocks. Mia's structure has a volume of 14 cubic inches. And now we can count the cubic inch blocks in Jenny's structure. So just like with Mia's, we're gonna count all the blocks that are in the back first. Okay, there are four on the bottom, and three on the row on top of that, and there's one at the very top. So, the very back of this structure has eight blocks. And moving forward, there's a stack of two blocks, that makes a total of ten. And then here, there are four blocks in front. So, Jenny's structure used fourteen blocks, and therefore has a total volume of fourteen cubic inches. So both of the girls use the same number of blocks and have structures that have the same volume. Now that is some great sharing. When the girls combine the blocks, they'll have a total of 28 blocks, which equals a volume of 28 cubic inches. Woo, just think what a tower you could build with that. Ooh, look, Isabella has started to create her own tower. Now she's already created the base and decided how tall she wants it to be. But how many more blocks will she need to complete the tower? And once the tower is complete, what will the total volume be? Well, we can start by counting the number of blocks that were used in the base of the tower. So starting at the back, I see a row of five. The second row also has five and that gives us a total of 10. And we then have two rows of three. So 10 plus six is 16 plus the final block is 17. So Isabel wants to make three more layers for her tower. 17 times three is 51, but she doesn't need 51 more blocks because she's already set up three. 
So, she really needs 48 more blocks in order to complete her tower. All this talk about towers makes me curious. Isabella has already used 17 blocks for her base, and 3 more to show how tall it's gonna be. So she's already used 20 blocks. Since she needs 48 more blocks to complete her tower, we can add 48 and 20 to find the total volume. The total volume of Isabella's tower will be 68 cubic inches. After every great day of building, comes time for cleanup. Now the container that we're going to use to hold all the blocks has a volume of 125 cubic inches. So will the blocks from all the towers fit into that one container? Well, to find out, we can start by finding the volume of all the blocks that everyone's used. So let's see. Eric's tower is going to have a total of 48 cubic inches. Mia and Jenny have a total of 28 cubic inches. And Isabella will have a tower with a total volume of 68 cubic inches. All right, now when we add 48 and 28, we get 76 cubic inches. And next, we can add in Isabella's 68 cubic inches for a total of 144 cubic inches. Well, since 125 is less than 144, all of the blocks won't fit into that one container, and it looks like we're going to have to get another container. And that means we'll have extra space for an extra tower. Excellent! Today, you aced measuring volume. You learned about finding the volume of shapes by counting unit cubes. We were able to help our friends solve problems and create some mighty towers. Now it's time for you to get some cubes and build a tower of your own. And don't forget to measure its volume, and I'll see you soon.